Sometimes when you go about making a UV map, you break your object up into several pieces, but place them on the same UV map. Uh, now, one way that you can go about doing it, uh, and this way I, I can honestly say I've, I've never used it in production, uh, is to go over to UV Texture, uh, T for Textured UV, New. So we'll make an Atlas map and click Create. And we get, well, it's all broken up into pieces, but we didn't have any control, and I don't like the way it uh, planned this out for me. It's kind of a mess, and I wouldn't even know where to begin to start painting this. So I would rather have full control over how I break up the object, where I place it, and, uh, and how I structure it. So I never really use Atlas Map. Uh, I like to build it um, one piece, uh, one group at a time, uh, and place it on the map, and kind of organize it the way I like to work. So that we could take a look at how we can um, continue to add to one UV map uh, and lay it out the way we want. So I'm going to go to a new object. Let's go to top view just for a second. And I'm just going to create a box. Okay, and we'll treat this as our object. It could be anything that, um, it could be any shape and it could have multiple polygons, but we'll just use this um, for the, the demonstration. Now one thing that I like to do is temporarily unweld. So I'm just going to cut, paste, cut, paste. Okay, so none of these are connected. I can connect them when I'm done. Um, I find that this is a, an easy way to work. I'm going to go to the UV texture and I'm going to grab, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, I'm going to grab the two polys that are running down the Z. Okay, come over to T for textured UV, new, and I'm going to call this box. I'm going to change the map type to planar, down the Z, and click create. Okay, I'm going to be, it, it fills up the entire UV grid. I'm going to be adding to this, so I'm going to temporarily move them off to the side. And if I want, I can grab one of those polygons, and then now they're not right on top of each other. Okay, so that was through the Z. Now I'm going to grab the ones that are running through the Y. And I'm not going to come down here to Textured UV New. I don't want to create a new UV map. I want to add to the existing UV map. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the Map tab. And under Texture, instead of New UV Map, I'm going to use Make UVs. Now, the options look pretty similar, except I'm not making a new UV map. I'm just going to make sure that my texture name says Box, which is the one that I want to add to, Planar, uh, through the Y click create and I just added that geometry to the same UV map I already had. I'm going to leave the window open uh, new polygons over to make room for the ones running through the X that I'm going to choose X create. Okay so by using make UVs I've added all my geometry. I'm going to go ahead and organize my geometry so I'm going to go full screen or actually I kind of need this other window uh, just temporarily so that I can get the polygons that are on top of each other off. Okay, So just deselecting one of those. And now I'm going to go full screen. And I'm going to start organizing how I want to lay this out. I'm going to just set these next to those, set these next to those. And then I'm going to, oops, Control-Z. I'm going to select all of them and size them down to fit on my UV grid. Okay. So, and maybe size them up a little bit. And if I want, I can start laying these out any way that I want. And, uh, you know, come and put together uh, a shape like this if I want. And, of course, I would pay attention to which ones I'm grabbing. But I can lay these out uh, any way I want on my UV grid. Now, once I have them where I, I want them, and again, I can set it up any way I want. I don't want my object to be uh, separate pieces, uh, so I'm just going to hit M for Merge. Okay, And now this is all one contiguous object, uh, but I was able to easily move the stuff around and not worry about it being connected in, in any way. Okay, So that's a quick look at um, how we can go and break up an object manually and put the pieces where we want them, uh, but also make sure that the polys uh, are being mapped correctly for our UV map. And we, we need to remember that if we want to add geometry to this UV map, 
we don't make a new UV map. We come over to Map, Make UVs, and use that option, which allows us to choose a UV map that's already created and add the selected geometry to that and choose the axis, choose the type. We could blend um, cylindrical with spherical with planar, um, and it's per um, geometry selection that we're adding uh, to it. We don't have to always choose planar for everything, but we can put it all on the same map. So a quick look at make UVs and uh, adding to an existing UV map.